Hi dear viewers, this is Arash Kamali with another session of the website programming course under Python programming language and the Django framework. Again, as always, a very warm and heartfelt welcome from me. If you remember well, in the previous session we made the email accounts, an email for reception, and the other one called sender for sending the email. And we send an email and we tested it. And we went to the contact form page. And in the contact us section on the left, the new message and the email that we had received were being shown to us. And now in this very specific session here on this part, I want to send the answering message to the sender of the image through the email. We said in order to do the email, we have two messages or send the email, we have two messages. In the first one, we can define the host, SMTP, and etc. And in the next, then use it for sending the email. Or on the other hand, we cannot define the host and other parts and instead use the sending function and the sender of the email so that it does the sending here we are going to use the sender email that we made you can leave your own email account and uh, to the sending section there is one difference in these two methods if we use the settings that we set up the host a user password and the port in the settings we can have the email sent in the local host that is we will be able to do the test in the local and send the email but on the other hand if we want to just have the sending function it needs to be on the server because it is going to use the server or the host settings in order to send the email at first we are going to do the sending of the mail to our own settings uh, we are going to give it our own setup and after we have set it up send the answer uh, in the local and see it in the info okay the first thing that we are going to do uh, that is the first thing that we need to do is to go to the project setting dot py okay uh, let's get the setting dot py we go to the setting dot py and we add the email settings to it okay in order to add the email settings uh, what we do is we say email on the line okay backend equals yep in the tag quotation django dot or right core dot mail dot backend dot smtp dot email backend okay we activate the email sending library in Django then we say email on the line yep use on the line DLS Yes, we equal this one way true. Now I'll explain what difference does TLS has and how it works. You will see. After that, we need to say email on the line. Okay, host. All right, email on the line host. We define the host here to send the email okay and then we need to say email on the line host on the line user 
here we need to define the user which is the sender and then we need to say email underline host underline password and the password account and then we need to say email underline port equal 587 well now I need to give some explanation on the settings this port or the host we have the user password but regarding host and TLS and port if you go to your email account and go to the account section now I go to the sender account and set the check email here we used to choose one of these by default and see the interface down here it has given us some explanations it says uh, if you are using SSL or if you are not using SSL the TLS that we have said it is the same we have activated the TLS mode and TLS mode that we have over here if we want it to be the SSL mode we need to say use on the line SSL equals true so if our site has SSL we need to define this as use on the line SSL the SSL is this upper section here where connection is showed in the secure mode I guess I have explained this before if we have SSL here uh, we say SSL equals true if not we say TLS equals true we are going through the process using local so we set TLS as true and here we have the ports uh, if you are using a port on the other than SSL that is we don't have SSL we need to set it up on the 587 uh, we have set it up on 587 and we need to define the mail here so that we know the name of the host the name of the host is given over here mail.django learn dot xyz so this would be the name of the host I copy this in the settings here where it asks me the email host I need to get the host name mail.django and XYZ is the name of my host and then it wants the user my user is sender and here I set the user as sender I want to send through this user and then the password that I have set up okay now for instance here you can use SMTP and your Gmail account host that has its own specific settings you need to adjust some settings and then you can use your Gmail account for sending so this is the first stage of the work the email settings and then we need to go to the view where we are going to import first I need to import the email sending function of Django so I need to say from Django dot core dot mail import send on the line mail this is the email sending function and then because I want to have access to the settings and say based on these settings do the sending so I need to say from django.com import settings import the settings okay so now we have written the settings and in the view in the view we have imported the related libraries now we can do the sending to do the sending we can go to the functions and do the setting there and then whenever we want to send the emails on the site to another sender or host then 
we just need to change its settings but if we use the second method and don't do any setting then anytime we want to send an email uh, using the send mail library give an email address and do the sending if the sender address is changed we need to go to each of the views where we have used that function and change the sender emails so this method is a better one but we are going to explain it in case you might need it somewhere okay we have added the libraries and prepared the settings now we can go to the function and do the sending 